Dear student, welcome to the lecture series of material science and physics. In this lecture, today we will discuss about one of the most common technique, which is basically a founding step for single crystal growth known as Vernier method. So, dear student, please note that Vernier method was the first method which was introduced to grow single crystals of gemstones like ruby, like sapphire, aluminium oxide and, and ruby is aluminium oxide with uh, equal ratio of chromium. Okay, so this method was introduced by a chemist known as Bernoul to grow highly precious gemstones. So this is the founding step of the first founding step of the growth of the single crystal. So basically Vernoul method is a foundation of the uh, semiconducting industry. It is basically a foundation of the substrate for the semiconducting industry. And after this method, uh, after the Vernoul method, different types of method like Sereproborowski, horizontal Bridgman and float zone method were introduced to grow uh, single crystals. Okay, so basically, dear student, Vernoul method is a first method which was introduced by a chemist to grow uh, gemstones, okay, because they were precious uh, kind of stones and they basically synthetically produced uh, those precious stones by using this method. If you go to the history of this method, this is the scientist known as Vernoul. Uh, he basically, in 1883, basically he developed this method to produce different types of gemstones like ruby, sapphire, and corundums, etc. Okay, so he was basically the foundation step was basically for the Vernoul method for, for a single cross crystal growth was basically made by the scientist known as Auguste Vernoul. So this student please note that he basically used a different types of precursor material which are basically high pure highly pure and he melted them and then deposited them as a single crystal and in this way, he developed a highly crystalline single crystal materials, okay? In case of ruby, which was initially synthetic ruby, which is basically an aluminum uh, Al2O3 in equal ratio of chromium, basically it was initially introduced by, uh, synthetically introduced by Auguste Vernoul. And in this, uh, in, in production of uh, ruby, Vernoul basically used the highly grinded uh, kind of powder of two different types of uh, rubies and he melted them and converted it into a single crystals. So, dear student, please note that the foundation of the semiconductor industry in term of developing a single crystal was introduced by this Auguste Vernoul in 1883 and after uh, after that method which was introduced by Vernoul uh, different types of other methods which are very advanced in term in which were advanced and further steps to semiconductor industry like a Zborowski method or horizontal or vertical bridge zone method or float zone method were introduced. So the student, just for your information, the founding step of the semiconductor industry in terms of single crystal growth was led by a scientist known as Auguste Vernoul. 
and the secondary name the second name of this method which was introduced by Renault is known as flame fuel method because the process works on the basis of a flowing train process this one, please note that the oxyhydrated flame was basically introduced before the developing or development uh, by the Renault uh, Renault uh, because uh, was, was developed so the oxyhydrated uh, oxyhydrated flame was developed before the Renault and uh, after that he used the same oxidated flame which basically operated at very high temperature somewhere around 200 to 2000 degrees centigrade and even more so they can basically that that flame easily can easily melt the gem different kind of gemstone was introduced by Renault and and with this high temperature uh, oxyhydrated flame Renault uh, melted a powder material in and uh, converted into a single crystals uh, gemstones so this student in next uh, part of the vinyl method we will briefly explain that what is the history of the vinyl or flame fuel method how this method was introduced and what art was the key reason for introducing this method so thank you for watching part one of the lecture series of flame fuel in process